Hello everybody and welcome back to the Drake's RC Stuff channel and today we're back with some more Mini Drake shenanigans. I do apologise that this series is taking so long. I know people are appreciative of the detail that I'm going into but the reason why there's so much detail is because I'm doing so little. I'm recording a lot of what I am doing, just a uh, lack of uh, motivation really. Um, but we're here. Uh, my mission today is to get everything wired. That is the, the video today, get things mounted. I normally use this, which is actually from Chloroplast. Um, so it's a decent brand, but I have had issues with it popping off. So it's 40 mil wide and I had to cut it into 40 mil squares because the old flight control as well. These these are also about 38 mil square, which is fine. But I think with it being slightly bigger, water was getting underneath and popping stuff off. It is you know, spongy. You can see my thumb there. So it was good for, say, um, mini quad um, frames where you were bolting these things to carbon fibre so all the vibrations came through. This is mounted to foam with only one motor. I think we'll be fine. Um, so yeah, first thing to do is to get this flight controller stuck in. What I am going to do, just because I'm worried about these pins touching this carbon rod, a bit of the standard Gorilla tape. I'm going to go around here, and then we're going to use some... Uh, I basically asked on a couple of different Facebook groups what people use, and this was mentioned so often. We'll use this. It's Gorilla. I do like Gorilla products. Um, it holds up six kilos, which this will not be, so <laughs> we should be fine, um, even with the wires and stuff. What I may do with these wires, I want to lift the board up, is hot glue them down. I despise hot glue, um, but that does possibly seem the best. So also what I was going to do with these, just kind of hot glue them along the edge. But to us, if you with the fine, I can always put a safety lock on that. Um, and then we can, as I say, I just want to get everything fitted and wired up so that Maybe in this video, but more than like the next video, we can get the laptop plugged in and we can start going through the iDAC configurator. But until then, um, let's get some wiring in. So first thing first, to sort of take this out, put that bit of regular Gorilla tape there, and then get the mounting tape out. Okie dokie, so that is now well and, well and truly secured in. I've also run the servo wires into it. They're just placement holder um, for now. You can see the bit of tape that I put on around the tube. Um, they're just in sort of a placeholder position for now because I don't know where they're going to be until I plug them in. And probably if when I first sent in, I'm going to unplug them so they don't just race off the end of their uh, stops. Um, so I decided to start with the VTX first um, out of the two wing pods because it is only the one thing that goes in here. And essentially what I want is hard to do with one hand, especially when it's your left and you're right handed. Let's essentially do that. I did consider actually mounting the video transmitter to here because you can see there's the air holes. Um, but no. Um, so what I've done, I measured with a ruler, that ruler, between here and here, and I've sort of traced it and put a little scrape with a scalpel there. So that's roughly... Probably, I have to take the air off every time, but never mind. Roughly where I'm going to put it. Um, so... I'll get some, I'll use some of that more Gorilla Tape stuff. It seems very good. On this side, stick it down. We don't need to bother about what channel or function it's on because we can do that via Smart Audio. Um, the Smart Audio cable, if you didn't see the video where I wired this up, is separate to this because on this board, they are separate. That's what that little red extra pin is for. Or at least that's my understanding. Um, on the bigger board, the F405 WRT, that's a 411, using the older stuff because it's what I had in stock. Brand new, bought for this, but you know, they're out of, out of their stock now. Um, I believe the pins are all next to each other, so I can have one of the them big uh, four-pin connectors again. They should be linked to the description if you're interested in those. First, get this stuck down and make sure I haven't made a complete mess of things and get stuff uh, sorted. I'm going to have to sort of move the cable out of the way, but it'll be fine. So let's get that installed and see how we go. Wires through the hole first, there's some tape, get it stuck down and then try and get this lid on. Okay, so just thought I'd show you, instead of all that measuring BS, what I did in the end was put that here, take a screwdriver and go, whoop, and pop a hole. So I also needed to know left to right, because this isn't in the middle. And you sort of put the aerial on and, put, and stick it down. So um, yeah, that's the best way of doing it, instead of doing all that measuring crap I was doing before. Uh, so yeah, let's get some the aerial on, and then let's get uh, it stuck down. Back in a moment. Okie dokie, so we have the video transmitter plugged in, this sort of, so not these two with the white wires, but the one with the yellow wire, that's the video transmitter side, if you like, so that's power and the actual video signal, then that is your smart audio stuff, and what I've done, 
I think when I was coming up with the wiring, I thought, oh, I've got plenty of room here to run excess wiring. Uh, that's terrible because it's near the speaker drawer. So I've actually pulled it back into here a bit. Um, I have had that all screwed down and fitted. I think I'm just going to use tape at the front. There is also a chance I will 3D print these, in which case that might be a bit of a disaster because of this arrow. But anyway, it does all fit down. It fits down nice and square. Just to give you a rough idea of what it looks like. I can't bother to screw it down. It does kind of look like someone yelling in pain. Um... Video trace meter, if anything, is even easier than the video. Uh, sorry, the GPS is even more uh, easier than the video trace meter. I'm going to have it placed all the way at the front because then it's as far back from where this receiver uh, antenna is going to go. And also, by the time this is blown back a bit, it's also going to be a bit further away. Um, so, again, same thing, some tape. They did, it did actually come some M3 tape to help this GPS down, and I don't think I've ever had an issue with And also, if it does come loose, it isn't as critical. If the GPS is loose, it's not going to flip over. And we're not using the compass, so uh, I might use that 3M stuff to get it used. And same thing with these wires, I'm probably going to pull them back through as much as I can so they're not... Because that, to me, is just going to introduce a lot of noise. So um, we'll deal with that. Uh, and then, of course, the most complicated one is getting this all today because of the antenna. But um, let's get that stuck down, wires out of the way, and uh, then we can have a look at sorting this out. Okay, and there we are, GPS... Stuck down with the M3 stuff, so not the grid, I'll take the M3 square that came with it. Why then I've pulled all the excess wire through. This is a complicated bit, so let me do some zoomage. My idea is to have this basically like that. Um, and then the wire comes out, it can be stuck into the foam to a certain distance back here. And we'll just drill a hole through. Um, I did try and have a look in my spares box see if I'd got another one of these antennas, and unfortunately, I don't. So I might have to unplug this one, which I'm not very happy about, but I can't sort of get the distance proper. Um, or I could use the ruler technique again um, and hope and pray. But um, we'll see. I'm probably going to use the ruler route actually now. I've thought about it um, to mark out where stuff goes. So let's get stuff marked out and. Uh, Back in a momento. Okay, so the length between the middle of this T and here makes no sense. So, going slightly short so that this will be a little bit further that way, eight and a half centimetres. So I have, it's really hard to see, a little dot there. So I'm going to hope and pray and stick a screwdriver <laughs> through my very expensive brand new model. And, um, yeah, hopefully the antenna looks something right. So, uh Okie dokie, so the aerial is in. I'm not sure if I'm going to dig it down further because A, it's sticking out the bottom and it'll get knocked when uh, it lands. Uh, and also, it's quite a thin bit of foam, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to dig all the way through. Without digging all the way through the foam, if you know what I mean. So dig enough as I need, dig all the way through, it looks a right mess. Um, the other problem that I've got, if we zoom in slightly. So because this is coming in at an angle, if I try and press this against here like I expected... It's a bit... I'm worried about that connector popping off. Um, so, I'm having to work out what's better. It just dangling there. But it could waft around and, and, and flake off in a different way. Or if I'm better... I think I am going to stick it. Uh, I'm sticking a mat, but I think I am going to stick it and see how we go. Because actually... If I don't line the board up straight and push to do it, it doesn't look too awful. So, um, yeah, let's get that done. Um, we'll wire through, get the wires onto the pins around the back of here, those pins. We should be good to go. I'm going to unplug this actually and move it around so it's not tangled up. But anyway, um, let's get that done. Okie dokie, so it is in. I have used a little bit of tape just to hold it in place, but it is still... At the angle, just because it did pop up once when I tried to push it against the side. So we're going to leave it like that. We just need to put this top on, uh, and then we're going to have a little discussion about this top piece. Okie dokie, so welcome to the mini drag in all those sort of dressed up bits. So we have the antenna coming out of there. You can see the GPS through there, and then you've got the uh, receiver antenna there. You can see it has its battery in and roughly measured on the CFG. It's nose heavy. I've put it as far forward as we can if I show you the uh, inside. There we are. So it could go 
with going back maybe a quarter of an inch, but other than that, it's fine. Everything's wired up, doesn't look too bad. Cable's plenty long enough. <clears throat> According to a website I found, it's an inch forward of this central wing tube. Now, if you just, if you don't have a covering on the model, you know, you can laminate it with clear lamp. If you don't have carbon fiber, for example, covering it up, that's not easy to do. So the fact that I've moved it an inch and people say it's a bit further back, um, as you get more advanced with it, we'll see how we go. The main thing that I'm thinking here is how to actually attach these core flute sections. Obviously, they have the screws at the back. I'm thinking with these, honestly, when the plane is finished and ready for its test flight, you can just use Gorilla Tape. Uh, not the, uh, maybe the cleanest in the world, but a little stick it down. And because I'm not going in these, um, should be fine. This is the problem. I can't just slap a bit of tape on here because mostly it'll just pull up. The laminate in all honesty if i could cut down to foam maybe it would work um i did th think about some sort of big hinge across but the problem is i've only got this bit where i can actually put the hinge whether i'd use all these or not but i got a cavan hinge and yeah, we could put that in there and glue it and glue it on there but again the hinge point is a bit tricky um, and also it's only on one side so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if there's anything on Thingiverse that does something similar. If not, I'll have to make one. But basically, the bit that goes on here, that then sort of covers over this front lip. So I can put it underneath. Um, so I'll have to take the measurement of this and the measurement of that. And, and sort stuff out from there. But, uh, yeah. What I wanted to try now was actually just sort of pretending to slide something under and popping it down and seeing how well that works. Because what I've been doing is screwing it from the back and sort of doing that to push the front in. Obviously that's not going to keep working if we have this little sort of hook mechanism at the front. We'll have to see. Um, so I might just sketch up what this roughly looks like um, and then go upstairs and fire up the old sketch up because I still haven't learned how to use Fusion 360 yet. But it'll be the sketch up. Um, I should have wanted to, to round the corners off and, and things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and put this in the front and just make sure that works. But I think that is where I'm going to leave this video for today. Everything's wired up. It's all ready for iron have and finishing touches. So um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe when I carry on seeing this stuff. Uh, any questions or feedback or anything else sensible feel free to stick in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.